and welcome again to Sammy Adams Own Theatre. Welcome, welcome. Kids, tonight we're going to be talking about the cost of living. Oh, it's not cheap out there. Not cheap. Not cheap to live by yourself. Many people in today's high, fast, pollutant society like to choose a roommate. Now, roommates are good, see. Sammy once had a roommate as a child. Yes, as a youngster, I had a roommate. His name was Boston. Boston Lager. <laughs> Sammy found that he was a good roommate, although he didn't pay rent. He, he tasted a lot better than a fat guy. <laughs> but I digress. It's time to get on tonight's tale. It's a scary little tale about a roommate gone bad. <sighs> Bad roommate. This is Paul. It was Paul's apartment. I like my apartment, but Paul couldn't afford it on his own, so he had to put an ad out in the paper. I sure need a roommate. This is Sprinkle. I like butter. He answered Tim's ad. He didn't have the money, but it was too soon for Tim to tell. Did I say Tim? I meant Paul. Sorry, Paul. Anyway, eventually, it came down for Paul to go to work. All right, Sprinkle. See, I'm going to go to work, right? And uh, make sure that you don't, like, mess up anything. I mean, whatever you take out, whatever you do, whatever you eat, make sure you clean up after yourself, all right? Okay. But Sprinkle had other plans. Good. I thought he'd never leave. I'll, I'll think I'll watch some TV now. If there's one thing I know, it's... Uh, uh, t TV. TV. Is something burning? That wasn't me. So Sprinkle commenced to watch TV. Monster fucking trucks coming at you. We'll sell you the whole seat, but you'll only need the edge. Free pouch of Red Man for Whoa, kids under 12. That's pretty cool. Be there. Oh, look, kitty. Kitty soft. Kitty? <laughs> kitty gonna go see Monster Truck with me. <laughs> Sprinkle, get Kitty. Oh, Kitty, go away. TV? Uh, uh. Oh, what do you think, Kitties? Paul's roommate is one tub of shit, eh? <laughs> that boy sat and watched TV forever. He was just watching and watching and watching and watching. But with further ado, let's go back to the show. Best take over, kid. My ass is raw from driving. <laughs> There'll be more Night Rider Marathon after these messages. Hi, big fella. Are you alone? Are you searching for the right woman? Does your ass get raw from watching TV? Mm. If so, I'm the one for you. Call me. 1-900-204-PLAY. Call me, 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 call me. TV? Hmm. Uh. TV? We got a phone. Uh, <laughs> Play. Two or four play. 
<laughs> I'd like to talk to a lady. Well, I'm a lady. I'll talk to you. <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you look like? I'm 5'7", I weigh 120 pounds and have big tits. <laughs> Me too. You have big tits? Uh, well, no, but all the other parts. Uh, what are you wearing? I've got on a black mini skirt, but I can take it off if you want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what color of panties do you have on? I've got my blue panties on. <laughs> I like blue panties. I like it. <laughs> I gotta call you right back. I gotta pee. Little did Sprinkle know, Paul had brought some friends home from work to see the apartment. You're really going to like what I've done to my apartment. It took me three days to get it in shape, but you know what? It's tip-top. Like better homes and gardens, man. Okay, we're going in. Oh, and uh, one thing, my roommate, uh, he's, he's kind of weird, but he's not that bad, but you'll, you'll take a liking to him after a while. He's, he's just a real cool dude. Well, here's the apartment. Oh my God, Jesus, oh my God. What the fuck is this, man? Jesus Christ, oh my God. My God, man, that is disgusting. What the hell's going on, man? Shut the door, please. Shut, shut the door. Oh my God, in my own apartment, man. Shut the door. Jesus. Boy, Paul was pissed but not as pissed as he was when the mail came two months later. Well, fuck me running, man. Two thousand dollars, man, for a fucking phone bill? Shit, I don't fucking think so. Where the fuck is that fat ass, man? Where the fuck is he, man? Jesus Christ. Christ, God damn it! I, mean, I can't take this shit, man. I need some money to pay off more debts. Nobody likes me. Conspired that somebody else is making, I don't know. Now that's what you call some bull shit. I am sorry, kids, sorry. I must apologize for the nudity and the disgustingness of this show. Tonight's show was pretty bad, but let me tell you, it's things like this that can't be sugar-coated. You just have to tell them like it is, you know? Some people just have problems, you see. Give me another beer over here. Ah. Uh. But for, until next time, this has been Samuel Adams. Good evening. Uh.